programming is a closure course so that's the name of the programming language for technical reasons this semester we are actually using another language it's another dialect it's closure script okay and um, not much difference but still it makes sense to sort of describe what's going on so both languages um, they are hosted what that means that it's not a language in itself but it's actually sitting on top of another language in the case of closure this is Java okay and Java in turn well okay well uh, the situation is way more complicated but let's just say that it runs on the computer so what happens is that when you, we write closure code and we ask the computer to um, to execute it in a way it's actually translated into another language Java which sort of we can say that the computer can understand on one level as I said it's way more complicated because there are virtual machines and uh, then machine code so yeah but that doesn't concern us here on the other hand closure script is um, it's hosted on JavaScript which runs again to simplify the picture in the browser so JavaScript was sort of the language that was um, created for for the web and um, okay the long story cut short it um, it was not the you know the best language ever designed it was just a quick uh, idea to have something uh, for the browser but now it's everywhere so this is probably the most popular language and it is actually not that um, rare that you have another language on on top of that so what are the differences between closure and closure script not much for example um, closure script doesn't have rational numbers why closure has so well okay this will not affect us much so this is just just to know that yeah we are using actually closure script um, instead of of closure because previously uh, we just used the so-called gorilla wrapper and now we are using web tool maria dot cloud Okay, that's just a quick explanation.